Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve an ANOVA problem using three groups, or, or if you have three groups. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for F. And now you can see I've got all my formulas on the right here, all the formulas we're going to need. And you know, solving an ANOVA with three groups, even though we only have five cases in each group, uh, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And so the way I've set it up here is to sort of uh, uh, maximize our efficiency. And I'm going to show you the tricks I use to maximize my efficiency. Because when you're taking a test, again, you know, it's all about time, right? So this video is not for absolute beginners. Um, hopefully you've, you've done ANOVA before uh, if, you're, if you're watching this video. Otherwise, a lot of this is not going to make any sense to you. So the way I start with my ANOVA is I always start with N. NA for group A, NB for group B, and NC for group C. So clearly we have five uh, in each. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in that section right there. Now for our, our, our total for T, you guys know we usually use sum of X uh, for that. But now uh, because we're doing ANOVA, we're going to be using uh, the notation of T for the for the total for the group. So the total again there is five. We just have one plus four. Here our total is going to be ten. If you add up all those values, and here our total is thirty. If you add up all those values there. Now for the means for each group, um, you know how to calculate the means. That's simply five divided by five. Here is one. Ten divided by five. Here is two. 30 but divided by 5 here is going to be 6. Now the point of calculating our F ratios is, is to determine are these means really different from each other or are they just different due to sampling error, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to compare M1 or M equals 1 to M equals 2 to M equals 3. So sum of X squared for, for our group A, right? So we're going to do 1 plus 16. It's going to give us 17 sum of x squared for our b here, okay, if we sum up 9 plus 1 plus 25 plus 1, uh, we're going to get 36. And then sum of 36 plus 25, 25, 81, 25, uh, here we're going to get 192. Now we have to calculate our sum of squares for each one. And um, I didn't, I, I, I've memorized that formula, so I didn't write it down here. Um, most of these formulas you're going to want to memorize. Um, this especially, this is a huge formula in statistics. Uh, you should definitely remember this formula, which is why it's not on my page. Um, now the way I, I, the way I actually uh, calculate this, I, I do it all in one step. So I'll start off with sum of x. So in this case, I'll do 5 squared on my calculator. 5 squared divided by 5. And then I get a value. And then, I, and then I, I push the minus sign and I subtract 17. And that gives me with negative 12. But the, the important thing here is to realize that um, the, the correct value is positive 12 because I reversed the order of operations. I did this part first and then I subtracted this value from here. Whereas really you want to do this part first and then subtract this value from there. Um, try that on your calculator. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how I do that all in one step to make it easy breezy. But I'll, I'm going to do it again right here for the for group B. So we're going to do I'm, on my calculator. I'm typing 10 squared gives me 100 divided by 5 gives me 20, and then I'm going to push the minus sign, and I'm going to type 36, and it's going to give me negative 16 on my calculator. But again, I know because I reverse the order of operations, I'm putting positive 16 here. Same thing for the last one. I'm doing it all in one step. 30 squared on my calculator divided by 5 gives me 180. And then I'm going to subtract 192. My calculator says negative 12, but I know it's going to be positive 12. Okay? So that's a trick that I recommend you, you, uh, you, you try and understand. Now we're going to start off with uh, up here, number 2. This is uh, stage number 2. 
we have uh, big N is equal to sum of N. So we're going to sum up these little N's here, and it's going to give us 15. Uh, G is the sum of all the T's. So this is like the total. So it's going to be 30 plus 10 plus 5. Okay, so we're going to get 45. Uh, sum of X squared is, again, just the sum of all these X squared values here. So this is like the super sum. Uh, it's going to be 245 if I just add them all up. Now K is just the number of groups. So we have three groups here. Okay, and that's something you're going to, going to want to remember. K is the number of groups. So DF total. Well, DF total is, let me see my formula here, N minus 1. So that's 14. DF between is K minus 1. So that's 2. DF within is n minus k. So n minus k is going to give us with 12. Also, you'll notice that here, this, this formula right here, dft is dfb plus dfw, 12 plus 2 equals 14. So that's one way. If you're missing something here, you can always figure it out if you have the other two. Same thing for sst, except sst, we actually have to use this formula. Uh, where is it? Right here. Sum of x squared is 245 minus g squared n. Now again, watch how I do this on my calculator. I do 45 squared equals, divided by big N, which is 15, equals 135. And then I'll subtract that from 245. It gives me negative 110. But again, because I reversed the order, it's actually positive 110. Uh, I, I go right down to SS within, because that's an easy one. It's the sum of all the SS values for each of the groups. So down here, 12 plus 16 plus 12, okay, that's going to give me, what does that give me? 24 plus this is 40. Okay, easy breezy. Now, you can, again, just use our, 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 our knowledge of this formula here, T equals B plus W, and we can just do a simple subtraction, and we know that this is 70. 100 minus 40 is 70. Finally, MSB, MSB is just SSB over DFB, so that's 70 over 2. Do that in your head, that's 35. MSW, MSW is SSW over DFW, that's 40 over 12. 40 over 12, that's going to give us about 3.3. .3. That's something I would do on my calculator. And then finally, our F ratio is MSP over MSW, so that's 35 over 3.3, .3, which gives us 10.5. Okay, guys, so that's it. We solved for our F ratio. I, I, I don't have a, a critical F to determine our significance. That's something you could look in uh, in the back of the textbook. With this video, I just wanted to give you a quick, a quick overview of calculating F from our raw data. Um, I showed you some shortcuts that I do with my calculator. Uh, but once you feel more comfortable with doing this order of operations, then you can start uh, looking for shortcuts like the ones I use with my calculator. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for the next video. Cheers.